Hydroplane production team visits Miami. It stays at the beautiful Holiday Inn at Brickell Point on Biscayne Bay. As the drivers come out for Heat 1B, Jim Saddam, owner of Eagle Snacks, a little love Pat for good luck. What happened to Executone in Heat 1A? Jim Hendrick. Don, I'm down here now with Scott Pierce, driving the Executone telephone. Scotty, what happened at the start? Uh, I just miscalculated, uh, made a real rookie mistake. I, when I timed, I timed off the stadium, and of course here they have the start line moved up, and I, they've told me a hundred times I have no excuse, and when I came down for the start, I saw the guy holding the flag, and I thought, oh boy, I mean, I can't park it here in the infield. I'll just have to run seven laps, but unfortunately I had a problem, and I couldn't do that, so we'll just have to go out and get him next heat. By the look of the draw, we have the hotter boats in 1A, now the slower boats in 1B. Eagle Snacks qualifying this morning at 101, then American Speedy Printing and Kenny Toyota Volvo. Looking at the drivers, Todd Yarling in his second year driving this boat for Jim Saddam. He will be joined by Andy Coker, a rookie this year, 37 years young. And the threesome is met with Leif Borgeson, back after a 10-year hiatus from a limited hydroplane driving. Again, with the Miami skyline in the background, you see the two boats, Kenny Toyota Volvo and American Speedy Printing on the outside. Todd Yarling and the Eagles next way back. You heard the gun. All the boats are late, so we'll have a clean start. And more importantly, you see Kenny Toyota with a large lead going down the main straightaway. Jerry Kenny, he is the owner of the boat of the Kenny Toyota Volvo. The fun meter on the back of the Kenny Toyota Volvo truck. Oh, it's all the way up to a nine. They like what they see. Brett Wright, he's the crew chief for Kenny Toyota Volvo, rooting his driver, Leif Borgeson, on. Morgison, by the way, as he goes down the back chute, is the team manager as well as the driver. He's been with them all winter. Andy Coker and the American Speedy putting the only conventional boat remaining on the Olympic hydroplane tour. The last competitive conventional boat, certainly. That meaning the engine in front of the driver as opposed to the cab over design of the Kenny Toyota where the driver is in front. And it is very hard for Andy Coker to crank that heavy boat around on each turn and try to be competitive. Leif Borgeson, as we said earlier, he was away from hydroplane racing for 10 years, looks over his right shoulder trying to find the second place boat. In third place, Todd Garling and Eagle Snacks. Andy Coker out of West Palm Beach, Florida, racing in his near backyard trying to catch Leif Borgeson. You have a rookie at 37 years old on the outside, and this man almost a rookie at 39 years old. Away from racing for a decade, and he's in first place in his first competitive heat in some time. The boat performing better than it has in a long time. They had trouble with handling and the attitude of the boat last year. The sponsons were a little lively. They've got a new wing on it. They put a blowhole on the right side. You'll see later on in the day, and it's handling much better. Leif Borgeson with the lead, going around the west turn and coming down to complete the second lap of 1B. On the outside again, Andy Coker, a veteran driving in the five-liter boats. And you see the K Toyota crew tearing on Leif Borgeson. He goes around and down the main tube. Again, Borgeson looking over to the outside. He sees how he can force Andy Coker closer to the beach. Going wide on those turns, he's got the angle on Coker. Todd Yarling going around, trying to keep that boat running. They qualified just this morning, and it was very tough for them to do so. Again, the heat may be causing some problems for these Allison turbocharged Allison engines. In the case of Yarling, that engine is a supercharged Allison engine. But in first place, that band, Leif Borgeson out of Seattle, Washington. Much quieter than a Merlin Rolls-Royce engine with those turbocharged engines. As he goes down, bouncing a little bit, you never like to see the tips of those sponsors dipping too much because, of course, that would spell disaster. Borgeson, the only full-time member of the Kenny Toyota Volvo team. The rest of the crew are all volunteers or mechanics at the Kenny Toyota Volvo dealership up in Seattle. A lot of dedication and a lot of good times for this crew. In first place, Leif Borgeson. And there's the distance between first and second place. Todd Yarling going around the east turn, holding on to third place, could pick up 225 points. And you see Andy Coker has switched now into lane number one. He was on the outside, lane number two, trying to chase Borgeson. So now that's right from the inside as they go down the back chute. Borgeson slowing down somewhat, it looks like. Check that. That is Todd Yarling as Borgeson goes around him. And on the inside, as you see from the helicopter, American Speedy Printing moving up on Borgeson and the Kenny Toyota. Back into that west turn. The John Stoddicker design boat out of Detroit for Kenny Toyota. Coming around the west turn. The Miami side here in Marine Stadium. 
Borgeson, always known as a very good driver. If the name Lake Borgeson sounds familiar, remember back in 1974, he was the driver of the first competitive turbine-powered boat, twin turbines, the U95. As you see, a good shot of Andy Coker going down, and there's the distance between first and second place going by the grandstands. But Borgeson was the driver of that boat back in 1974. They were quite successful with the twin turbine, smaller engines in that boat, privately funded, but they ran into problems in Seattle when a big hole was struck in the bottom and it sank in Seattle in the Seafair race in 1974. American Speedy printing in second place. Again, down the back chute, Blake Borgeson, who likes to get away from being really the team manager and mechanic during the latter parts of the week so he can start thinking about driving. Nice shot of Andy Coker. He is thoroughly enjoying this ride. He said he's already blisters from qualifying the boat, trying to go into those turns. He says he simply takes a deep breath, cranks it to the left, and holds on for the ride as he's still giving chase to Lake Borgeson and Kenny Toyota Volvo. He could pick up 400 points, would be the finest showing for this boat in the last couple of years. As we said, they had attitude problems in the past, but he's going to pick up the checkered flag and a victory for Heat 1B. Lake Borgeson, Kenny Toyota Volvo. Second place, American Speedy Printing, and the rookie, Andy Coker. Two out of three boats finishing Heat 1B, 400 points for Kenny Toyota Volvo, and American Speedy Printing picking up second place. To the pits and the winner with Jim Hendrick. Will you get that helmet off? I want to talk to you, big guy. You went faster on the course and you can undress. I can't believe you. Ten years on the beach, and first competition, you win it. you got to be kidding. Well, it's, it's a thrill, I'll tell you. We've come a long ways, as you know, Jim. You saw the boat run last year. The guys worked really hard. You know, we're just happy. I mean, that's, that's really great. Uh, I could probably have been a little bit closer on the start, maybe, but uh, I'm stepping up slowly. I'm feeling my way in. Were you satisfied the way the boat was riding? It looked kind of rough to me. It's, it's downhill pretty hard right now. We're going to lighten it up a little bit if this wind stays down. We that way because it was blowing pretty hard yesterday. What's this fun meter I see you guys grabbing after you took that checker flag? This is what it's all about. We're having fun now, aren't we? <laughs> the other guy that had fun was a rookie by the name of Mr. Coker. And I understand that he did a pretty good job of finishing second place at Dunfield. The rookie comes on and puts on a great show. Nice going, Andy. Appreciate it. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without the crew. Absolutely fabulous motor. Um, I think we actually could have got him. We developed a little oil leak there. It's the uh, first time I've ever had a motor in front of me, and it, it's real exciting, real intense with a lot of oil. Needless to say, and warm. But you showed some savvy getting in on the inside lane in the later lap. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, when we got, I got the inside, got down first corner again, and that's when the oil, whatever went, went. And I said it wasn't worth jeopardizing me and him and the boat. Uh, looks, looks like we can do real good this weekend. And here's the twinkle of Daddy's eye. Scott Pierce's daughter, Jamie, join the sunshine. We'll be back in just a moment. Show me your sexy tongue. My daddy's boat. Daddy's boat? Wait a minute. 